what an experience though for the whole community to come together and do something you know like has been mentioned before if we, if we can't do this for one night for the local community uh, you know we really think that it is an excellent opportunity for a local family business like ours to become very involved with the community for an excellent cause on a very local basis as well uh, in, in tandem with Stoke City Community Trust to get involved in that I mean with the accommodation angle obviously with the Catalga Hotel and Leisure we just thought for, for homeless people and as well with the Stoke City brand just raising big big awareness and it was fabulous to see so many and as, as I've noticed year on year Year, the attendance has grown and grown and grown. We're both local lads as well and it's good for us to, to get involved in the community so it's, it's really good for the Royal Air Force to put back in and obviously in the news at, at the minute veterans on the increase for homeless as well so it's, it's something that we can put back into and help out with that as well. We're looking at getting chefs to support with the field catering side of things so yeah we're, we're hoping to bring quite a few people to the team and uh, yeah give it our military ethos and get involved. Anything that we can do as the Royal Air Force obviously is going to help out. We provide solutions Steve for the sleeping bags, all the sleeping bags are provided by his church. They're from festivals so it's, got, it's called glamping these days and they just use it once. So that sleeping bag would normally be thrown away. What we do is we go, we've got full logistics infrastructure at his church, we go to all the festivals, we pick up the sleeping bags, wash them and then redistribute them, as you say, for fantastic events like the Big Sleep Out, but also directly to homeless drop-in centres and outreaches all over the country. We had a wonderful report back from Manchester Police, Steve, that deaths on the street went down 50% because of these sleeping bags that would have been thrown away were actually saving lives. Personally, for me, being a Stoke lad as well, to come to the football club and to, and to see See awareness being raised in Stoke is fantastic for me personally. It's going to be a cold night, like I said, in, in February. I've played here in, in, in that sort of time and been out there. It's, it's cold, so it's going to be cold, but it's, it's brilliant that local community and, and local businesses are getting involved in, in something like this. And it's good that the, the football club are getting involved as well. It's, it's nice to raise awareness and, and funds for the, for the people that don't just spend one night out in the cold. They can spend uh, years and, and months out in there, so it's good for everyone to get involved. Yeah, it's always good to, to help out the, the people from the community because obviously they, uh, they support us and for the players as well, we talk about in the change room. So yeah, it's always good for the players to help out if needed. Yeah.